Such a lot when you've got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Hi everyone and welcome to Twinklers on TV week 10. Here we are. Do you remember last week I was in my onesie and we made some breakfast? Well, some of you have had a go at doing that. So here is Maeve making some fabulous teddy toast. And there's Finley with his sisters. Look at their amazing pancakes. They even made Mrs. Bo's, Mrs. Bear's bow under her chin. And someone else covering in chocolate was I Iris. She had a go at making some too, but I think they were eaten too quickly before her mum could even get a picture. They look well done, Iris. Lots of chocolate around your face. Amelia's been cooking with chocolate too, making some crispy cakes and having some time out in the fresh air, walking with her doggy. But the best bit of your week, Amelia, wasn't it? Definitely watching Twinklers on TV. And there's a picture of you and Daddy watching it. Also watching us on TV is Isla and Ariana. And here they are watching it at home as well. Someone's been outside on a long walk and that was Jake. There's Jake with his brothers. And he went out for a walk with his brothers and picked a dandelion. Well, I've w found a dandelion on my walk as well, Jake. And the best thing about, bit about a dandelion is that when you do a big puff, the seeds go floating off into the wind. Shall we give it a whirl and see if my seeds go floating off? Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> there we go, nearly. I've all floated off into the wind. So, and Joseph's been outside in his garden on a slide. And Joseph normally comes to Twinklers with his grandma. So a hello to Brenda and all our grandmas and granddads that we're missing from Twinklers. At least perhaps some of you are starting to be able to spend some time outside to see your grandchildren. But I know that the hugs that you're missing very much. But here's Margaret. She's enjoyed seeing her grandson Reuben for the first time in a long time. And they had some time together in the park. And here's Caius having a walk with Daddy. He's nearly up and on his feet already. I remember, Caius, when you first came to Tiny Twinklers and you were just a few weeks old. Maybe next time I see you, you'll be up and running around if you carry on like that. And here's Joseph. So Joseph is turning four and Nicola will be singing to you later at our time together, Joseph. But happy birthday from me. Beatrix has been hiding inside her rainbow arch. Can you see that? Look how pretty and colourful that is. And when she was out for a walk, she was wearing her rainbow cardigan. Now, you will have noticed that I've got a pretty rainbow behind me today. And that is because Joan is about to read us a story of Noah and his ark. So before Joan tells us that story, let's sing our wiggle song together with Teddy. Wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes, wiggle our arms and wiggle our nose. 
Now the week goes around of me. I can sit down for the story. Let's hear today's story from Joan. Hello, it's good to see you today. I've got a story from this book, The Beginner's Bible. And it's the story of Mr. Noah, who God told to build a great big boat called an ark. And God said, you need a plan. And the plan is that you need a boat that is this long, this deep, and this wide. They sawed and chopped and hammered and put nails in until the boat was built and it was beautiful. A great big boat. And God said, I want you to find two of every creature that you can. That is, two of every kind of animal, two of every kind of creepy crawly, and two of every bird. And the animals came, two by two, to get into the ark. Some of them slithered, some of them hopped, some of them crawled, some of them galloped, some of them ran, some of them ambled like the elephant. And they all got into the ark and you knew there was a room for all of them. And then they were all in the ark, all safe and locked in. And they heard a sound on the roof, a bit like this. What's that? Uh, a few raindrops? But then they got louder and louder and there were more and more and more of them. And it rained and it rained and it rained. Anyway. They stayed in the boat for a long time. And then they couldn't hear the rain on the roof anymore. And Mr Noah, he sent a bird, a bit like this one, a dove bird, to go out to see if there were any plants and trees growing now. But the big boat, the ark, stopped floating and it seemed to have got stuck. It was on the top of a mountain. Wow! said Mr Noah. That means there must be some dry land. The trees are growing again. The bushes are growing. There'll be flowers. So, that's great news. And God said, you can come out now. Well, the doors on the houseboat were opened and everybody was allowed out. What a noise, what a celebration, what a party. They came out onto beautiful dry land. And when they looked up, as they parted, they looked up into the sky and this is what they saw. A great big rainbow, like some of the ones that you've been making. It was a massive one in the sky. And God had put it there to remind them that he loved them and that he'd kept them safe. And ever since then, a rainbow has been a happy sign. I hope you're enjoying your rainbows. Keep safe. Bye. Thank you so much to Joan for today's story. So can you remember what it was all about? We know that it was about Noah and a big ark. Now to start with, Noah had to listen to God, didn't he? He had to listen very carefully and he heard God say, Noah, you need to get busy. So I think Noah went to his shed and he found all the things he was going to need to build a big ark. So I've got my kit here with everything he needs. He needed to put his protection goggles on, keep his eyes safe. And let me have a look what I've got in here. 
he needed a hammer and he would have done some banging and banging and banging and banging for week, years and years and years and ready to make the ark as big as he needed it to fit everything on board. Now, if I was going to go to sea for a long, 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 long time, I'd have to pack my favourite food. So here is my favourite food. I've already said before, my favourite food is chocolate. So Noah would have put all the things that he needed, probably not chocolate biscuits, but inside his ark. Then he had to fill his ark with all the animals. Can you see them all here? Let's pick out some. What animal is this one? It's a crocodile. What does the crocodile say? Snap, snap, snap. So two crocodiles would have gone in the ark. And how about this one here? Who's the, who are these? Two monkeys. And the monkeys say, ooh, 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 ooh. And two monkeys needed to go in the ark too. And we haven't got time to make all the noises here of my animals, but they would all have been inside Noah's ark. And then the rain came. Do you remember Joan told us? And the rain fell and fell and fell. Now, in order to make some noise of rain, I've made myself a shaker. So on Twinkle, and we'll put the link at the bottom of the video, you can print off these pages here and then you can print off the animals. You cut them out, stick them on, and then I stuck them inside this, around the outside of this juice box. And inside I've got some pasta, but you could put rice or beans or maybe some of you already have a shaker or a, something a bit like this. So when the rain started to fall, we can make a quiet shaking no rain noise. And it got heavier. And it got heavier until the rain had flooded the whole of the earth and the boat was floating. And after a long, long time of waiting, the sun came out and the rain dried up and the animals could get off the boat and Noah and Mrs. Noah could get off the boat and a beautiful big rainbow was, put up, was shining in the sky. And just as Joan said, the rainbow is there to remind us that God's faithfulness lasts forever and ever and ever. And so that's why we've got our rainbow here today. And lots of you have got rainbows in your houses as well, I know. So let's have our shakers or any instruments or anything that you've got ready to make lots of noise as we hand over to Nicola for today's singing. Hi everyone, let's do some singing. So, in my bag today, I have an umbrella. And I don't really like the rain very much. I much prefer the sunshine. And when it rains, I like to sing, rain, rain, go away. I wonder if Noah sang that on his ark. we can find in my bag today. Oh, here is Mr. Crocodile with his big tail and all his spikes on his back. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream, ah! I wonder if you can remember which song that's from, from Roro. Don't get a shock, are you ready? 
<laughs> I put that in my bag today because we've got another happy birthday to sing. It's Joseph's birthday, so let's sing happy birthday to Joseph. <laughs> We've got a heart, so let's see if we can sing the song Jesus Loves a Little One Like Me, Me, Me that we did last week. So when we sing Jesus, we point up. When we say little one, we put our hand down. When we say me, 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 we just put our hand right here on ourselves. So, are we ready? Okay, we've got time for one more, so let's see what's in my bag. Oh, this one needs a countdown. Count with me. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a rocket. He's flying to the moon. So let's sing Zoom Zoom. Thank you, Nicola. Great singing, everyone, and great shaking. Now, do you remember a few weeks ago, we used a teaspoon to help us to think about talking to God? Teaspoon, the three letters it stands for, uh, in, in the name of teaspoon is T and S and P. And we can say thank you and sorry and please to God. Just a way of helping us remember to talk to him. And I've written three prayers that are already on my tree. But let me just take them off to show you so that I can get them nice and close. So my tea is thank you. Thank you for the dandelions. Thank you for all the things that grow. It's great that so many things are growing at the moment outside with all the rain and the sun that we're having. So let's put that up there. That's got a rainbow on that one. And my sorry says, sorry that sometimes we don't make good choices. And sometimes it's hard to do the right thing, isn't it? And sometimes we want to do things that make us happy, but maybe not everyone else. So that is that one there. Let's pop that on our prayer tree. And my last one is thank you. Thank you, God, that your promise lasts forever and ever and ever, that you will always be with us. So we'll pop that on there. Some of you might still be making your paper chains. So you might remember to say all the things that we're grateful and we're thankful for. Mine is growing, so I've stuck it up on the window now. So remember, please, to send me any pictures or videos. Remember, if there's anyone that doesn't watch Facebook that your grown-ups might know, make sure that they know where Twinklers is happening every week on YouTube. Send me your pictures, your videos um, on Instagram, on Facebook or via email. It's always wonderful to see what you're getting up to. So I'm going to hand over to Jude and Summer for our goodbye uh, song today. And it's bye-bye from me. And I will see you all next week. Bye. Hi.